Okay guys, hey, so the Puerto Rican Day Parade is coming up this Sunday. I'm actually making a rainbow highlight. I already made one here. If you can see that. Okay, the lighting isn't that great, I apologize. I will swatch this for you. Uh, swatch it here. Can you see that? Okay, so that's how my rainbow highlighter comes out. I will tell you my recipe. So I have these um, shimmer pop, shimmer pop pigments. I got these from TKB Trading. It's called the Shimmer Pop Collection, and it gives you an array of colors that are on the rainbow. Okay, you get a lot of bank for your buck. Uh, you go to TKBTrading.com, and you can just basically make your own eyeshadows. Pretty much, that's what I do for my Z palettes. So, um. Also, guys, I wanted to show you, I made some pressed glitters. They are divine. Um, some of the glitters I customized myself. Um, if you would like me to do a tutorial on how to make the pressed glitters, then comment down below and let me know, and I will be happy to put that up for you. Um, don't forget to like this video. And I saw a couple of tutorials up already, so I didn't bother to make a tutorial on pressed glitters. Okay, so moving along. Um, so basically what I did here is I use 91% alcohol and that's it and just the micas and I pretty much just create my own colors so here with the blue the blue was very dark so what I did was I added some white pigment and basically just mixed it until I got the color that I wanted to get um, all the micas you see here are mixed with alcohol I use a little syringe and it helps me to just to put as much as I want and then kind of what I do is mix them with like bobby pins or little spoons TKB trading sells these little spoons so they help but you run out of them quick so whatever um, also I broke up this limited edition wet and wild highlighter that is shit and it doesn't really work and I'm just basically using this to give my um, pigments a little bit of sheen so that when I do do the rainbow highlighter what I'm trying to do is I did a very light subtle uh, rainbow highlighter now I want a very dark rainbow highlighter um, you know just so I can alternate um, for the real festive days and for the not so festive days where I just want a little bit of glam um, so I do have a little bit uh, this is my soft highlighter um, rainbow highlighter DIY and then I'm going to do my hard rainbow uh, DIY also the Puerto Rican Day Parade is coming up so I want to do a um, a shadow slash highlighter um, of the Puerto Rican flag um, I'm just gonna do red white and blue strips and then um, I am going to I think I'm going to use I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this pan or if I want to use this big ass pan but I think what I'll do is for the red, white, and blue, I have pans that I also bought, magnetic pans, um, 36 mm round tin pans, 25 count, and they also come with the presser. This is to press your shadows tight, nice and firm, so that they stay compact. And so this is an example of one I depotted and repressed. and. That's pretty much how I do it. Now, moving along. So I think I'm just going to use one of those pans for my Puerto Rican flag um, colors. And I'm going to put it in here. Now, I want this very pigmented, of course. I want a little glitter to it, but I don't think I'm going to do a highlight and make it subtle. Like, these are kind of a little pastel -y, like the yellow, the blue, the orange. These three, it came out a little pastel -y. I don't want them too pastel because when you make them really pastel um, that's more of a highlight versus an intense uh, pigment color. Um, I wanted to show you guys. This is kind of how I test my product. Um, so here I have pearl, which is the one that I'm going to put in my um, American flag. So this is going to be my white. And I love that finish. It is gorgeous. Do you see that? Very pigmented, very satiny, very beautiful. I love this color. So I'm satisfied with that. So I'm going to let that dry a little simply because we have a lot of alcohol. There's a lot of alcohol in there. 
um, I'm gonna add some of this this you can get at Dollar Tree this is LA colors shimmering loose eyeshadow if you can see that you can get this for a dollar at Dollar Tree they have different colors the white really comes in handy when you creating a highlighter because um, you can seriously um, just add that kind of stardust effect that that illuminating uh, light effect or you can use a highlighter that you don't really like but is semi good quality and you can put that and mix that into your batch as well and you will still get the same highlight effect um, I got this from wet and wild this is a mega sorry this is mega sparkle confetti and this is a beautiful beautiful stardust um, I'm going to put this in the red white and blue these are the red and blue pigments I will be using they are from the brand called me okay again I apologize for the lighting um, I'm still working on getting my studio and lighting situation together so please bear with me um, okay so I'm trying to get a lot of pigment out this puppy because this one came out very watery and the more watery it is guys the longer it's going to take to dry okay it's thickening up now that's what you want you want that kind of thick like paste consistency okay it's getting thick so that's what's good about using 91% alcohol it just dries quicker so that's really what you want you know okay so let me just try to get more pigment more of the stardust I'm trying to get as much as I can simply because and then just kind of putting it into everything else all right it looks like that's as much as I'm gonna get out of that guys so I should have bought another one but I didn't so but it is if you can see it is already getting like a thick like consistency see it's like gummy that's what you want okay so that's good so I'm happy with this um I can really work with this this is fine I will be using this this is a nail tool you can get this at the beauty supply store I got it for $2.99 has kind of like a spoon end and then like a straight end I use this to apply it inside the pan in the way that I want the colors distributed um next guys I want to take some mega sparkle well first let's get our colors together okay um, I don't have my colors together. We still need um, some blue and some red for my Puerto Rican flag. So I just want all my colors done. That way, all I have to do... Okay, that seems like a whole shitload of a lot that I put in there. But it is what it is, right? What are you going to do? And then we'll put our alcohol... I like to fill it up with alcohol I know it's watery and it's not a thick like consistency the way it should be but I like it filled with water so they don't topple over to the other side if you want to know what tray I'm using guys this tray is from the app called home and they have a lot of cheap stuff on that app guys this video is not sponsored by anyone these are just experiences that i have and that i love to share with people i always like you to save money wherever you can okay so i don't want anyone to think like oh she's you know keeps putting their name out there she's sponsoring a video blah 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 whatever i'm not sponsoring shit these are things that i use however guys this is very messy moving along okay so basically I take my alcohol bottle. Ooh. I take, oh, I'm sorry, you guys are not in frame. Okay, guys, I take my alcohol bottle, I dip in the syringe, and I fill it up. And I just keep this on hand for when I'm doing my stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go back down. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this highlighter because I'm currently not using this. Get that out the way. And now I'm going to mix the red. I'm not going to put that much alcohol this time because we don't need it. There's not a lot of pigment in there to be putting that much damn alcohol. I mean, I'd like to put enough, but I think I kind of overdid it with the blue. So I might have to put more blue just to thicken the consistency. Because then I'll be here waiting literally all day for this shit 
to dry. I don't really use these pigments, so I mean, look, I barely, I use the whole bottle right now. I don't use these pigments. Um, I've had them for maybe two plus years, and I've never used them till now. So I started experimenting with um, making my own eyeshadows. I never use them. This palette, guys, I made all these eyeshadows, literally. Pressed them, made them, combined colors, you know, kind of doing my own thing. Okay, so I'm going to mix this so it could just be a little, it's, it's getting a little thicker. It's just that, that's good. That's what we want. Okay. Let me use the blue one. Just going to mix that blue. That blue is very watery, but hey, I'm going to have to wait so that it thickens. It sucks, but what are you going to do, right? I overdid it with that one. That's fine. Okay. So let's see if we can get some stardust in here in the blue. And let's see if we can get some stardust in the red. It's just a little, just to kind of give it a little sheen on the face. That's kind of what I'm going for. I don't want it pastel -y. I do want the color to be bold. But I do want a nice little sheen as well, so... I'm hoping I can achieve that. Um, so I'm gonna mix this. Okay, I'm already seeing a little bit of glitter inside, like a little swirl of like a pearlized um, finish, you know, which is very nice, very pretty. Um, however, I am not pleased with that at all. Um, it's, you can tell it's coming together, but it's overall not what I want. So we have to keep going until I get, and this is running out, and that's why I keep having to hit it. I'm sorry if that's annoying, but I keep having to bang it down because as you can see in here, that's how the eyeshadow is. It's actually outside, but there is a lot of shadow still in there, so... I should be able. I thought I was running out, but I'm not. There's a lot of fucking, there's a lot of shadow still in there. So let's get that puppy out. You just got to keep tapping, tapping it down, then up, then down, then up. It's the stupidest invention I've ever seen anybody. <gasps> Oh my god, the shadow guys, do you see what happened? It literally came out. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Okay, whatever. We'll just scoop the bitch from here. This is probably easier any fucking way because the other way was driving me insane. So, yeah, let's get that shit in there. Fuck it. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And here I'm thinking, well, this is cool because now the next one I buy, I know that the bottom comes off, right? So we can just do it like that and take that shit off. Seriously, that works so much better. Okay, I have this little scooper. Let's use this sucker to probably be more effective. Yeah, look at that. I'm getting a large amount. And don't worry, guys, my table is sanitized and clean. I always keep my um, vanity table clean because my brushes are here and they go on my face. And just all my other stuff is here. So this this is clean. I mean, there are micas and pigments on here. But besides that, there's, like, no bacteria or nothing like that. So I'm not worried. Uh, okay. And I'm just dabbling a little bit in the other colors as well. Um... That's the ones that I think can have like a little bit more sheen to them. Give them a little more pop of color. But this is so cool, guys, because now I know that when I go to back to Dollar Tree and I get more and I get the other whites. Oh, what is wrong with me? Guys, I totally just screwed that up. Oh, I did not want it in the purple. The purple had enough. The orange needed more. Oh, do you see me? I'm so messy. Oh, I hate being messy, guys. Seriously. I don't mind being messy, but like, this is like over the top messy. So I'm going to use a wipe and just kind of wipe this down because my area is getting really, really messy and it's annoying me. So 
Let's just leave the wipe there. I will clean my hands just so that I don't want to mix any colors with any other colors and kind of fuck shit up. So we are going to use this. Now I am making my niece a rainbow highlighter. She loves makeup and I'm going to make her an highlighter rainbow a highlighter a small one just so she can play with and you know just kind of like and have fun with so i'm doing that for her and i'm going to make me a rainbow highlighter a dark one and also i want to make me a red white and blue for the face so that will be here so let's let's get started let me show you how i'm going to achieve this okay guys so i'm going to start with the red white and blue well no i'm gonna let that sit because it's still watery okay so we have to let this sit for a while okay i'm just gonna mix it up so that it can get that nice pearlized finish it's not that pearly but hey and be sure to always clean the dividers because you don't want the colors leaking into other colors, okay? So that's that. Um, okay, so the dust. We're going to use the Stardust from Wet n Wild. It's called Confetti. Ooh! And I'm going to use my little scooper that I bought from CKB Trading. Remember I told you guys? It comes like a set of a whole bunch for like a $2 or something. So let's put one spoon of glitter, see how that goes. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. I can't wait to put this on my cheek for the feast because I'm not going to the parade. The parade is just not what it used to be. Let's just say that. <laughs> it's not what it used to be. So I go to the feast. Um, I haven't been to the feast in a couple of years, but I'm going this year with my son and husband and we are going to have a ball i just know it so that glitter is not really popping through the way i want it to so i'm gonna use pretty much the whole damn thing because obviously for the effect i'm going for and i'm gonna mainly focus on the blue and the red because that white already has like a pearlized finish so it's already gonna pop but this blue and red needs like some festive kind of after effect. And I'm just hoping that this gives it that. If not, I'm going to keep having to experiment with that recipe and get it to where I want it to be. So this is pretty much what you do. You just keep mixing and adding and mixing and adding and kind of just make your own recipe, guys. That's, that's what it's all about. Just making your own, making this eyeshadow yours you know and then you can name it you know you can name it whatever you want to name it because you made it it's your eyeshadow you didn't buy it it's not someone else's it's your eyeshadow you made it how cool is that right yeah so i'm hoping this glitter works i have more glitter that i can test out i guess but i'm hoping this one just kind of peeks through i guess the red is dominating the glitter the dark colors are dominating the glitter. I think that's what it is. However, oh, I'm hoping we can get it to peek through. If it's not peeking through, I can always swatch and see if when I swatch it, will it come out. And it does come out when you swatch it. So you see? Specks of glitter when you swatch it. So it is in there. Now that's like a green. I want to see if I can get another color in there. Perhaps we can... I have red, white, and blue glitters. I'm going to put them in that recipe and see how that plays out. Like I said, guys, trial and error, man. Trial and freaking error. I'm just going to keep messing with these things until they just come out the way I want them to. I want this to be really nice because, I, like I said, I'm going to the feast and... I want this to really pop on my face or eyelid, whatever I choose to use them for. Um, I know with pressed glitters, you need a different type of recipe, but this is not a pressed glitter. This is an eyeshadow. So this is just basically adding, and you see how it's getting all gucky? That's when you want to put some alcohol because you want it into a consistency where it's not too watery, 
but it's not too thick because you want it the whole eyeshadow to be cohesive you don't want chunks of glitter on one side of the eyeshadow and not throughout the whole eyeshadow so that's that I'm mixing that in and then I'm gonna swatch it so let's see what we got here okay so the red glitter it's kind of not really peeking through if you can see that it's just the stardust all right so that is obviously not going to work okay so moving along we're gonna have to try something else um I really don't want to use anything that's not too excessive simply because of the kind of look I'm going for. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so I have some more glitters over here. I have like another stardust ugh, over here. It's kind of pretty. So we're going to try to use this one. It's a nice, pretty stardust. So let's use this one and see how that one works out. I'm using up all my stardust glitters, girls, just to freaking get this nice, festive thing. And I just... I just want something cute for the the feast and it's like trial and error trial and error you know you gotta keep on keeping on so you get it to what you want sucks but it is what it is but what's good is that once you get it you know how to get it again you're like okay i put this 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 and this is what i want you know so you're good in that aspect Okay, so now let's do the blue, which the blue is looking pretty. Wow, that looks nice. Not larger than life nice, but it looks okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay, that blue is pretty. I can deal with that. That is nice, and it has that festive look to it. However, the red does not. So we have to work on the red. Um... It could just be the mica, the uh, pigments itself could be overpowering the glitter. I do not know. But I think I'm just going to add some more glitter to it. I just want it to be a very festive look. The, you know, it's not supposed to be subtle. It's not supposed to look subtle. It's supposed to be that very high festive pow wow factor you know what i mean so so let's check out the red the red we have some glitter but i'm still not getting that effect i want that sucks that really sucks um so that glitter is too gritty and it's no good for the red one. However, we did accomplish it with the blue one. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, let's get this off my hand. My clothes literally guys are like full of pigment. Like make sure you wear clothes that you don't want to mess up. Okay. Okay. So let's see. <sighs> this glitter is too gritty it's not working oh I have more confetti so I'm just gonna use that for the red one and maybe that'll just give me the look I'm going for I have that confetti look and so that's what I'm gonna do now hey Daniel hey so I'm here making pressed glitters. What are you doing, silly? Put it on the two single for peace. Oh boy. Peace and happiness. What are you so, doing? So what are you doing? I am making pressed glitters. So now I am mixing, mixing, mixing all the colors. Simply because 
I need my colors to have all be in sync and cohesive so I am mixing 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 everything is mixed guys so now I'm gonna start with the rainbow highlighter for my niece so here's an empty eyeshadow pan that I sanitized with 91% um, rubbing alcohol and I'm going to use this because it has a nice sharp edge it's gonna be easier for me to line stuff up and I'm gonna start with the color of the rainbow so we're gonna start with red on this side and this is my red here it's gonna grab a little bit we're gonna put it along the side and just keep going grab more um, don't worry about the outside getting dirty because you can always go back in when it's dry and fix that so don't even pay that any mind seriously this is very watery so I'm gonna have to be careful um, so then next I'm just going to flatten it so that it's nice and measured out next I am going to and I'm wiping this with a wipe through every use every color um, next we want to go to orange so we're gonna pull some orange from here and I'm gonna start at the bottom and being sure to kind of measure that out uh, and then kind of just guck it in the middle and go to the top like that like that it seems like a lot of red on that side guys but it's really not because what happens is and I'm gonna show you because we messed up over here a little bit it's on the actual pan here so if you rub this here you'll see that that's the actual product and you'll see the line between the uh, product and the pan see so we have a nice cohesive thing going on here and now we're just gonna squash that orange toward the red like that because we need space for our other colors and this is a small pot so next is yellow and so we're just gonna go into that yellow and start from the bottom like that and then we're gonna go duck it in the middle like we did the other one and kind of just drag it up to the top I mean this tool is really really good for this um, I really like this tool for this specifically this is my method uh, you could use whatever method is easiest for you um, what's easy for me might not be easy for you so please um, do experiment on different ways to apply it to the pan uh, if you do know of an easier way please let me know in the comment section down below I'd be happy to uh, try different things um, and by all means guys I'm not saying this is the way you do this I'm simply sharing with you what I do to create my own um, thingamajiggies the next color is green so we're gonna go into that and it's looking like we might not have space for the other last two colors um, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm going to try and push this green as far as I can. So I want to get those other two colors in there, seriously. Hey, mommy. Yes, honey? That's right. Hey, mommy, is if I could take a five minute break and then get back to work? Sure. Thanks. Okay. So we got the green. Next color is blue. We're taking the blue. And we're going to apply the blue in here like that and bring it down get some more blue duck it in the middle drag it up that's how i find it easiest to work with um the corners are easiest to slide side to side the middle i think putting it in the middle and then kind of dragging it up helps uh, 
Okay. I'm getting that blue in there. This is the last thing I do, honey. Okay, so it seems like we have the blue in. Just kind of want to add a little more to the middle because I'm seeing we're lacking blue in the middle of the blue line. There we go. So now we have the perfect empty slot for our last color, which is, hold on, okay, just making a nice uh, hole there for our last color, which is purple, okay? So now we're gonna grab some purple and we're gonna slide it in from the side so that it falls right into that cubby, okay? There we go. So now we have a nice distribution of purple. And you pat it down. And guys, honestly, I think that just looks fabulous. I mean, we still have some cleaning up on the edges and things like that, but it, it looks for the most part. You can't complain. So I'm just going to let this sit up here for a little while because like I said, there's still alcohol. I don't really want to press it just yet simply because the presser I have is too big. So I have to press using a quarter and even the quarter is too small for that circle. So a lot is going to come out of the sides. So I'd like to let that just sit for a little bit. Not too long, just a little. Um, again, I want to clean my working space it's too messy as of right now okay so i have that next i mean this is really messy guys like seriously look at me and i wash my hands like six times i've wiped down my hands um next we are doing thinking about using this pot for the red white and blue however this pot is really small and i kind of want that dramatic big effect so this pan is going to work best so first we're going to start with our dark rainbow so we will be starting with red again and this is for a, a, this is a much larger pan for those of you who you know like to use larger pans so I'm gonna use the scooper for this one simply because I can grab more product with the scooper. Okay. Now we are going to scoop this to the side, slide it so that it's on the actual side. That's why this spatula thingy comes in handy when you're making this. Okay. We're good. Next color is orange. Let's scoop that orange out. Uh, start from the top, kind of drag it. Drag it down. Um, don't worry about how messy the pan gets on the sides because when you're adding colors, you don't see that. So that's not going to be visible. So don't even worry your little head about that. Because I used to be worried about it. And then I noticed it doesn't show anyways. So like you're stressing yourself out for nothing. Um, just make sure that the color is evenly distributed. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Ah! That's another thing. It gets so scary because sometimes the colors are like going into the other colors and you're like, what the hell? Okay, so then the spatula really works for this. Um, if you can get your hands on this tool, it's again, I said it's a nail. It's for the nails. Um, it works really good for panning eyeshadows. Seriously, like really good. You have the scooper on one end and then you have the spatula tool which helps to uh, coordinate the colors and just place them so that they're evenly distributed i mean look at that works really great you're not going to get that with a spoon or you know i mean you could try but it's going to be a lot more work if you're doing it with the spoon you know what i mean so yeah Next color is green, and I'm just simply going down the rainbow wheel. 
with the colors that I have to represent whatever colors are in the rainbow, simply. Okay, so then we have the green. And you see how you have all this space to just kind of guck it there? And then, because um, once it's touching the other color, that's when you have to be careful. But once you um, have it on this side, you can always push it, see? See, you can push it so that it's so that you get that even line or distribution or whatever you're, you're going for you know what I mean I don't know maybe you want a Z in, in, in the palette or a I or a B or maybe you want to spell your name I don't know but I'm just telling you how to get clean how to achieve that customized look that you're going for whatever that may be this spatula is a great a little spatula thingy I don't know the name of it I'm sorry but I'm sure if you go to your local beauty supply store you will find it in the nail section I guarantee it or you can probably even check the drugstore they should have it there okay so this looks pretty good I am very happy with this um, yes I'm pretty happy with this okay so next color we will do a, let's see, uh, blue. Let's get that chunky blue down here. There we go. Now we will work it in as we move up and then drag it, drag it down. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll show you here um, okay here I can show you you just simply move it up and then the spatula you see how that works that spatula is really good for lining the pan so I'm sorry you guys couldn't see it was my hands were covering it but thank God I noticed it because now I can fix that frame so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this, and then you just keep adding where you feel it's not cohesive. And then that's pretty much what you do. Now this blue is looking really clumpy, but you don't have to worry about that because when you press this down, honey, you're not gonna be able to see any clumps. And that's a fact. Okay. So, next color is purple. And I believe purple is the last color. It's showing me here that purple is the last color. So, we could have put more blue. I might still put more blue just to even out that distribution of purple. Oh no, it's mixing, it's mixing, damn it. Okay. We're gonna have to try and fix this now. Okay guys, so we're going to drag that blue into the purple, like that. And I thought we had more colors, but we don't. So the purple was the last Reagan color okay so we're good there is the rainbow and we're gonna let that dry a little and then we're gonna press it so I did my niece a rainbow and now I have a rainbow and I'm just going to put a little bit of dust over my niece's rainbow a little bit of sparkle dust so She can have a little bit of that glitter effect. <sighs> so yeah. So yeah. Next is the Puerto Rican day. Puerto Rican flag colors. And you can do this for any uh, any country flag. Um, 
So we are going to do red, white, and blue. So let's start with the red. I'm gonna scoop it out. Now these are gonna be fairly thick simply because, ooh, that's too thick, honey. Um, this is gonna be fairly a lot of product because this is only three, we're only doing three colors here. So we can be generous with taking up space in the pan. Okay, so that's there. Um, that's red. I just want to move this red over a little because it looks like it's trying to be greedy and take up more than the space it's supposed to. Okay. Like I said, that spatula comes in handy into dividing the product. Next is red, white, and blue. Next is the white. Uh, and that white is a little chunky, but that's fine. Like I said, when you press these, you're not going to be able to see all the chunkiness, okay? So, yeah, we're going to get some of this white out because apparently it's too much and it's going all over the place. Okay, so we want to move that white so that the blue has room. Uh, down here we have some white issues. Okay, so that is looking good. Now, it's very watery, so I'm going to have to throw that blue in quick. Um, that looks like too much so let's get that blue in there and then I still have extra products so I'm gonna make another one uh, probably for my niece because she's also Puerto Rican so I'm gonna let that dry a little and then I will press it and this is what it looks like red white and blue I will put a little bit more pearl on top Um, just because that red looks like it's trying to dominate the pearl and I really don't want that okay I want an even distribution of red white and blue so that's that now I have this little pan that I'm gonna do red white and blue for my niece So guys, I'm pretty much going to recreate what I did already. So that's pretty much it for this um, tutorial. Next, all I'm going to do is put, um, you put tissue or um, bounty over this. And then you get your presser, whatever you're using. I'm going to use this for this one. And then I'm going to use a quarter for the smaller compact, which is this one. And I think this one's ready to press. So... Well, no, it's, it needs a few more. And then you just put a towel over it. And then you, well, not a literal towel, like a paper towel. And then you press it. And then you leave that to dry for a full day. I like to leave it to dry for a full day. And then that's about it. That ends this tutorial, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Bye.